what you are. I hope that you the two magic. Alright, so the goal here is hopefully these three black ring guys don't die like that. So um Yeah, myself into the magic armor here. I'll just open up with something normal. Okay, mass shackles of pain. Oh, that's what killed them. Oh fuck, I know what killed them. It's like those guys are afflicted by the shackles of pain. I was doing damage to them, so they were just continuously taking like triple damage, basically. That was my fault. Shit, I didn't change the wand again. Fuck me. Okay, let's go. Uh, that's a lot of misses. Yeah, okay. Oh shit. Reaver. I don't know if these guys are, are like significant either, like plot wise. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop using snipe shot. I don't think it works really well. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna do the classical openers here with the uh, bloody arrows. It works better, I think. Okay. Okay, so it's like what a thousand? No, no, like six hundred, seven hundred damage in a turn. That was good. I think they're just gonna kill these guys. Reaver, Reaver, Reaver. Those are just regular. Um, those are just regular NPCs. I could teleport this guy out, I guess. You know, I'm gonna. I can just taunt now, right? I can taunt them. I can walk up, taunt, and walk out. That's too far, I think. Now it should be close enough. Okay, so he got attack of opportunity from Sabil, from uh, Efran. Okay, she procs the heal, and this is really good again. Ouch. Yeah, th these guys are just gonna die. I don't think I can save them in any way or form. I could try to save Nikor, but yeah, it's not guaranteed that I will. I can try to teleport him out. I wonder if this is worth, um, perhaps not the effort, but the mm, yeah the AP, right? If if he is actually going to be of any significance in terms of the plot later on. So I'm doing two bad things here. First of all, I'm just exposing myself really hard. Okay, so Nikor is gonna go there. He's gonna be a happy boy for now. Now they can just kill those guys, I don't give a fuck about that. Okay, Prince will be forced to leave later on, I guess. Okay, we go behind this guy now. I can corpse explode there as well, like once they kind of stack up outside, I'm just gonna drop the corpse explosion. Okay, I'm just gonna kill this guy actually. Just, just regular autos. And I'm gonna have like full 12 AP turn next time. Right, so we just wait, we just kind of keep these action points. Yeah, th he just kills the prisoners, doesn't he? <laughs> uh, he, he was probably aiming for Prince, but he did kill the prisoners. What a piece of shit, okay. So we have to move up now. That's free, Peter. Expensive skill to use. It's not like I give rats ass about the Black Ring and being allies with them, but... 
this is 14 meters, this is um, 9.7 if I shoot here, 9.6, this is 14.3, so if I go for 9.7 it should be close enough to those two to ricochet, alright, yeah. So at least I understand the ricochet mechanics now better. That was really strong damage too. Okay, so they're just gonna punish Red Prince for being the tank. No, they're actually going for Lozi, who has like ridiculous physical resistance. Perfect. He's just gonna run in like a true AD carry. Okay, so we infuse, we provoke these two to attack me. I hope I can get both this time around. This would suck if I couldn't. Yeah, okay, I can. So I'm gonna save here so that I can just go back to a place where I know I can win the fight from. Boom. Do I just Phoenix dive out? That's a real question, right? Do I just Phoenix dive out so that they can't... I'm just gonna go here. Perhaps just finish my turn like hidden from the line of sight so that nothing can hit me because he's like low of H on HP now I mean not low but like he's losing health anyway nice thing is that um, oh shit okay, I have to heal him I guess how long are the shackles of pain gonna last a single turn so that's okay actually Magister Ivor. Hmm. Okay, so I'm not gonna be hitting those guys at all. So we do the Luminous Ritual here. Okay, he gets HP back, that's nice. I didn't have to waste healing on that. Mm. I think I should just kill this guy first, then, since. can drop the soothing cold so that everyone has high resists again. Is there anybody with no armor there? The source hounds have it. This guy has a lot, yeah, so that's not gonna work. I could pop the vacuum aura, but I don't think it's gonna accomplish much really. Okay, I can actually do the buff, drop the buff on Sibyl. Can give her the vampirism. I could give the vamp vampire aura to everybody too, but that's just a buff to the damage, which I really need. Okay, she's gonna hide. He just has to run around now. Okay. Because he can't reach uh, the prince. Okay, so we infuse, we go behind this guy. No, we. Do I really want to do that? I can double infuse and just go behind then, or... No, I can just get rid of those trash monsters, actually. Let's just do it. So, did I infuse? I think I infused this, right? Okay. Ouch. Shit. Yeah, this was unintended. Um, okay, Sibyl has healing, so it should be fine. Like he has, he is a tanky boy. Maybe not tanky enough, though. Shit. Okay, I'm just gonna drop the doggo here. I can walk up as well to this guy here. Because this means I get predator reactions. Which I keep forgetting about normally. Okay, so we walk up with the dog. Just make sure that those guys have something that blocks their way. Please don't die. It's just all in, so he's okay. Now I can just. Um, what I can do is I can just infuse, heal the prince. He's not vulnerable now. Okay, and now we have to get rid of this watcher here somehow. 
That's really good. Okay, also we have the um, firebrand now because of the corpse explosion. So it's a really good combo overall. Might actually just commit because this guy has to die before he does some messy like things to other guys. Mm, that's not gonna do it. I, mean, I can infuse this and hope for the best, but this is just piercing damage. Perhaps I should just do it like this. Mm, and just move aside somewhere. I, know, I think this is okay actually. Because I don't hurt to get like unnecessarily electrocuted and shit. Okay, he's gonna move out. No, never mind. He's like blinded I think he took like t he took a lot of different status effects okay yeah nice okay we have the level up so everybody is like full HP now no they are not actually oh I thought this was th that's how it worked never mind then I guess okay we have to kill this magister guy here this is Raymond as well so Raymond has no phoenix eye so he cannot get to the ship and uh, get away I think we just have to capitalize on this now, so we just go all in. Just gonna check the chat, nothing. As per usual, right, so. I guess Prince took some harassment before, so I could use this team lens to help alleviate the damage that he took. Does this? Oh, this grants AP recovery. Holy fuck. So, double infusion. This is actually AoE. This is area of effect AP recovery. I didn't know this. It's like, a, like one of the best abilities there is then. Like. Because this just makes you go so much faster, right? Okay, he's gonna kill the wolf. Which I really want it to happen here because that means he doesn't kill Prince. Okay, we go behind this guy now and we just drop our damage on him, right? He is super sturdy though, like really, really resilient. I have to stay here. I think I have to stay here because for yeah. Okay, so Centurion to double predator reaction and Centurion reaction because he just tries to reposition. This is ridiculous. Ouch! Right, this hurt though. He was taunted. Okay, empowered blitz attack. Holy shit! That's sick. Again, I need to heal. Uh, Okay, he is dead, isn't he? Ifran, Ifran is dead. There's like nothing I can do about this. Okay, so we just shoot him on the back, I guess. He just has 300 HP. Okay, Ifran is dead, but I can just resurrect him the same turn. So it's not a problem. So he's going to have his normal turn next time, this way. And Lozi can heal him up. Hmm. Right, so we put him... I think he's gonna be fine if I kind of take him outside of this cluster fuck over here, maybe. So this Magister is dead. He's like, he has no way of get, getting out of this. He can't. I'm just gonna go and take care of the other guy here. I can't challenge this was 3 AP shit. Okay, we just wait. Oh no, he. Okay, fuck, he, thought he actually died. We just passed the turn. Shit. It would have been really bad had he died. Alright, so we rest, restore him. I have like a lot of healing spells. This is go gonna be okay. Magister Vor is the only thing alive with the single source doggo. Ok, 
Okay, we're just gonna get rid of this guy now. That's heavy damage, right? Because he has like a lot of physical. St he has slowed status. He has. Oh, no, he doesn't. He just took a lot of damage from crits, I guess. Oh my god, that's. Okay, that's so lucky though. That's so, so lucky. Here we go. I guess we have to go behind him with the ability because he's. We are stuck. Okay, we're gonna drop the finger of death on this guy. This should kill him. Please die. Okay. Now we can corp corpse explode. This is really good because this means that he cannot like him. He doesn't run anymore because he's dead. That's brilliant. Okay, so we drop the uh, corpse here again. And we break this guy's neck. I don't know why, but I like it doesn't show it, I think, but I do hit myself with the corpse explosions. Okay, so we have double infusion now, which I'm gonna drop. Yeah. Yeah, just like that. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna do this and uh, get the crit here. Holy shit, this is like a thousand damage in a single combo. Okay, no, just Lozi has not to die and it's gonna be really good. Lozi isn't gonna die, so. It's just a source doggo, so. Okay, Lozi almost dies actually, but. She's not vulnerable, so she can heal herself. She can just drop another healing ability on everybody. The thing is, she, she's just taking the damage over time. Because, um, like, since a lot of characters with high physical damage were focusing her, started using this. Which gives her like a huge amount of resistance, but also makes her lose HP every turn. Um, so, like, it's water damage is not really bad, but you know it's damage nonetheless. I could have Nether swapped here. I could have mo moved the dog here. This would be easier for the rest of the characters to catch up with this thing. Okay, this is gonna be it though. That's gonna be that has to be the end. Okay, I can move up a little bit actually. So this takes me right behind the monster, right? So I'm just gonna. This, okay, you use too many action points to do this. I just go behind and just auto. Yeah, I wasted the source point as well. That doesn't matter, but. It's an ugly ending to a fight, which was otherwise pretty perfect, really. Hmm, okay, so this is it. We have killed everybody, including this asshole here. And this asshole here had some decent loot here, like 200 maze, that's garbage for me, I don't use this. He had a staff, huh. Two keys, a writ of passage, a pair of gloves. Okay, there is a watcher here. No, he died. How did he die? No way. 